we're gonna break down exactly how much it cost him to start selling on Amazon. Then we're gonna share month by month his actual sales numbers, including revenue, all his product costs, all the different Amazon FBA fees, and finally, month by month, his actual profit. And finally, at the end of this video, we're gonna share the biggest mistakes he made, and please pay attention to this, because he made one mistake that could end up costing him $12,000. So make sure you stay till the end so you can learn from this mistake. Let's get started with how much it actually cost Michael to start selling on Amazon. So what was the first cost that you incurred when trying to start your Amazon business? Sure, so the first cost that I had was for Jungle Scout. And I got a three month subscription, which costed around $180. Now, one important thing to note is you don't need to pay for Jungle Scout. I did a video, I'll link up here and down below on how you can get a lot of the tools that Jungle Scout offers for free. It is a great tool, but you don't necessarily need to pay it. The next fee that you had to pay is design. And that's something a lot of people don't put enough effort into. How much did it cost you to design your product? Sure. So for my packaging design and my logo design, it came out to a total of $80. Which is pretty cheap. Where did you get your design from? So I went on Fiverr and I found a designer that was making packages that looked really nice to me and I decided to go with him. The next fee that a lot of people forget to talk about is the $39.99 a month Amazon FBA professional selling fee. How long before you actually launched your product did you start paying this fee? So I actually started about two months early. I wanted to get a Seller Central account just so I could get familiarized with the platform and not run into any issues with just me being unfamiliar with it. So that is another fee that you wanna make sure you budget in. Another fee that not a lot of people talk about is samples. And before you actually get your product manufactured, before you pay for all the inventory, you wanna make sure you get a sample. How much did it cost you to get your samples? So my samples were pretty expensive. I wasn't expecting to spend this much. Um, but I spent around $230 upfront for samples. How many samples did you get? So I went to three different suppliers, but I just wanted to make sure that I was choosing the right product upfront. This is really smart because he didn't just go with one manufacturer and get the samples and say, okay, that's good enough. He tried it out. So that $230 may have saved you a lot of headaches down the road. Right, and I was hoping that if I were putting in this work upfront, maybe I could save headaches down the road with happier customers. Yep products that didn't break, fewer returns, and just a better working relationship with that supplier. Again, another fee that not a lot of people talk about is all the legal fees, all the getting a DBA, all that kind of stuff. What, how much did that cost you? And let's talk about that process. So I went with the DBA approach, which is like a sole proprietorship, mainly out of convenience. Um, and this costed around $80 to get set up. And then again, another fee, I keep saying that, but is barcodes. And these are the barcodes, you need to get UPC barcodes how much did you pay for your barcodes? So I ended up going with UPC barcodes, which is the cheaper route. Okay. So I didn't get GS1, but I bought my UPC labels from an online barcode marketplace. And something to look out for here is that the first barcodes that I actually received ended up not working in Amazon. So this is a good way to potentially save money. Now it depends, sometimes I recommend just going with GS1, and GS1 UPC barcodes could be $250. Those are the legit barcodes but there are resellers where you can save some money. So if you're trying to do this for a little bit cheaper, you may wanna try out a reseller. Now the biggest and most expensive cost when starting an Amazon FBA business is the inventory. It's the production. How much did you spend on production? So my first production run was a thousand units and it costed over $11,000. And that's a lot, that's not normal. I mean, that's, it's great, but most people for their first production run are spending somewhere around three to $5,000 max. But I think that's great that he had a higher end product and that's something to keep in mind is all products are gonna cost different to manufacture. And once you get your product manufactured, you still have to ship it. You still have to get it over. If you get it made in China, you have to get it shipped over to the US. Even if you get it made in the US, you still have to get it shipped to the Amazon warehouse. How much did it cost you to get those products shipped? Shipping costs were included in the price quotes that I got from my supplier. But the next fee, even once you get your products manufactured, is you're still gonna have to pay to get photos done for your product listing. Now, this is optional. You can always take the photos yourself, but I do not recommend that. I recommend either paying for professional 3D rendering, computer renders, or paying a professional photographer to get pictures of your product because it's gonna help you sell more units. How much did you spend in photos? So in total, I paid around $275 for my photos, uh, but this is because I really wanted to pick and choose props that really help to tell a story in each photo. So you not only had a photographer, but you also paid for all the extra little things in your photos, which 
is really smart. You don't want just a photo of the product. You want to show the benefits of the product. You want to show how you can use the product. And this is one of those places that I think it's worth spending more money to get quality. And then the final fee for starting up, and this is a completely optional one, is you got a trademark. How much did it cost you to get your trademark? Right, so my trademark costed about $330 in total. And upfront, I really knew that I wanted one of those Amazon listings with really nice infographics, photos, and even videos. And I knew that in order to get that, I needed to trademark my logo fast. Yeah, and that's called brand registry. And the only way to get into brand registry right now is if you have a trademark. But in all honesty, getting a trademark is completely optional. And if you wanna save money, this is one of those places you could save money. So in total, it cost Michael around $12,000 to start his Amazon FBA business. And I, I know that sounds like a lot, but keep in mind, that's the cost of a used car. And one thing about a business, especially an Amazon FBA business, is it can get you a lot further in life than a old beat up car is. So don't think about it as like, oh my God, $12,000, that's so much money. Think about it, this is your ticket to freedom. And obviously, as I mentioned before, I've had other people, other students that have done it for cheaper. That Mina did it for about $1,500 and I had another student, Troy, that started his business for around $5,000. So the number varies depending on what kind of product you're starting. But now we're gonna share month by month, Michael's actual numbers, the real results of this test to see how his product did. But before we do that, we actually did a video together over on his YouTube channel where we talk about how we did product research to find his product, how we found his manufacturer. We talk step-by-step step, everything you need to know to create your own Amazon business. It's a complete tutorial, which you can get by clicking up here and down below. But in Michael's first month of selling his product on Amazon, he did over $7,000 in revenue, which is amazing. But keep in mind, revenue is not profit. He ended up having a lot of expenses. The first expense was the cost of the product. How much did it cost you for the units that you sold during that first month? So in month one, uh, the total cost of the products was around $2,600. The first fee for selling on the Amazon platform is the flat 15% fee. If you sell any product on Amazon, they take 50% of your revenue. So how much did you have to pay in that Amazon selling fee in your first month? So in the first month, my selling fee was over $1,000. Yikes, and on top of that, there's the Amazon FBA fee. This is the fee for you to send your products into the Amazon warehouse, and every time that you get a sale on the Amazon website, they pick it, pack it, and ship it out. How much did you spend in that fee? That was about $1,400. Yeah, and this is these are all completely normal, and I do wanna point out something, that the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee and the selling fee are 100% worth it. Amazon offers an amazing service because they give you so many customers, it's so easy. I mean, look, Michael in his first month did $7,000 in revenue and Amazon made that possible and made it relatively easy, but there are still more fees. What was the next fee that you had to pay in this first month? When selling on Amazon, there's something called the storage fee yeah. and that ended up being somewhere around $200 in the first month. And this is because you're sending in a lot of products into Amazon's warehouse and they don't want you just sending in all your furniture and everything and just storing it there indefinitely. So they do charge a small fee, but it's something like a few cents per cubic foot. Nothing too crazy. And as he mentioned in the first month, there's only $200 compared to his revenue. That's not that much. Let's talk about other fees. What were some of the other fees that you incurred during this first month? Sure. Uh, so there was Jungle Scout. There was the Amazon Seller Central fee. There's fees like designing my product packaging and my logos, and all of that ended up being fairly expensive at the end of the day. In my first month, that ended up totaling about $1,300. And another thing that not a lot of people talk about, but Michael's being super honest about is PPC. And PPC is a way for you to advertise your product on the Amazon platform. It's absolutely amazing. It allows you to get to the top of the search results basically without having to do a lot of effort. How much did you spend in PPC for the first month? So for my first month, this was a little aggressive. I spent over $3,000 on PPC. So in total, when we added up all the numbers in your first month, what was your total profit? So in my first month, my total profit was negative $2,460. And I, I know this sucks, but this is normal. Most businesses, you gotta test things out. You gotta figure out what kind of Amazon advertising works, what kind of spend works. You gotta test different things. But we're not done yet. Things get better from here. And one thing I wanna note is that Michael said that he didn't wanna share his product just yet, but he said that if you smash the like button and this video gets 1,000 likes, the next video we do together, he will share what his product is. So make sure to smash that like button. Let's talk about the second month and I think things start to get a little bit better in the second month. Month two, what was the total revenue? 
So total revenue in month two was around $6,250. So it was actually a little bit lower than the first month, but let's talk about some of the different fees. What was the, the product cost? How much did it cost for the products that you sold? Sure, so because it was a fewer amount of units, the product cost ended up being a little cheaper this month. In total, that was around $2,100. Then you have the Amazon selling fee, which how much did that cost you? That ended up being $900. And then on top of that, there's the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee, which was around- That was another $1,100. And then let's talk about other fees and PPC. What, what were the rest of your expenses? In my second month, I wasn't selling as many units, but I was tapering down my PPC spend pretty significantly. So in the second month, I spent only $1,600 in PPC. And then you had another $131 in other fees for a total profit of how much in your second month? So in month two, I made a total of $350. Which is a big improvement from month one. And that's part of business is you test things out, you make mistakes, you learn from them, and then you make better PPC campaigns, you make better business decisions. Now this is where things start to get really exciting. Month three, what was the total revenue that you did? In month three, I did over $12,000 in revenue. Now, the first fee that we gotta talk about is the product cost again. How much did it cost for you to manufacture those products that you sold in the third month? That was about $3,900. And then from there, we have the different Amazon fees. How much did you spend on each of the different Amazon fees? So the Amazon FBA fee was about $2,100. The seller fee was about $1,700. And then I had other fees here and there, which totaled about $230. And finally, what was your Amazon PPC cost in month three? My PPC cost was lower than ever at $866. And drum roll please, what was the final profit at the end of month three? At the end of month three, I made $3,400. And this is what I'm talking about here, is a lot of people, they start their business, they're like, oh, I lost money in the first month, oh, I broke even on the second month. Play the long game. The most successful sellers, most successful entrepreneurs aren't thinking, what is my first month gonna be like? They're thinking, what is my 36th month gonna be like? So that's one really important thing. But now we're gonna get into the biggest mistake that Michael made during this three month test and please pay attention. This is a super common mistake. I've made this mistake, Michael's made this mistake, almost every seller I know at some point has made this mistake and it could end up costing him $12,000. So if you wanna save a lot of money, please pay attention. Let's talk about the biggest mistake you made during these first three months. The biggest mistake that I made was not keeping track of my inventory. Mm -hmm. So by the end of my third month, I was selling really well, I was, my, my rank was increasing, and at the end of the day, I realized that I was gonna run out of stock in less than a month. And running out of inventory is a really bad thing on Amazon because not only when you run out of inventory to basically for a full month, you don't get sales. And keep in mind, month three, he did $12,000 in sales. So if he runs out of inventory, which it looks like month four, you're, gonna, you're running out of inventory, that's a full month worth of sales that are gone. But on top of that, Amazon really does not like when you run out of inventory. In fact, if you run out of inventory for long enough, they may blacklist you. The big thing and the most important lesson to learn from all of this is what Michael did is really awesome. He created a business, he created a machine that can make him passive income. In his last month, he did $3,500 in profit. If he can keep making $3,500 month after month in profit, that's enough money for him to quit his job and get his freedom back. And if you wanna become a success story like Michael, I just opened up registration to my Amazon FBA course. There's only 50 spots available and I'm gonna be closing registration soon. You can find out more information by clicking right here. On top of that, the best part about this course is as long as you go through it, complete it and launch a passion product, you can get 100% of your money back. And make sure to join before it's too late. I'm trying to get more success stories just like Michael. So click on that link and I'll see you in the course.